Hi everyone, this is Mark Rep, Technology Trainer of the Port Huron Area School District, and it's time for another tech tip. Today we're going to take a look at Google Hangouts. So, how do you add people to this list? You simply go right under Hangouts over here at the right and click on the plus sign. Now I can think of a person right now that I'd like to have a Google Hangout with. So I'll click on her name and you can see that it opens up a little chat window for her. I can then click on the video call button which is the little camera. You hear the little sound effect in the background that it's trying to contact that person. And there are also these icons here at the top. I can invite more people to this conversation. I can go into my circles and find people. I can go into my friends or family list and add people. I can also add a telephone. So you can add people to this video call many different ways. I could go to the entire Port Huron Area School District, but I don't think I really want to do that, so I'm going to click the X, and I could just type in people's last names. If I typed in my last name, for example, it brings up my name in a drop-down list. Originally, it was a maximum of 10 people, which is a pretty good number. So that's how you add people to this video call. You can invite them, and I'm calling myself right now, as you can see. If I want to hang up, I just hang up the telephone and leave the call. Now, I just got a pop-up window in the bottom right corner of my screen that says Yvonne Rodriguez is inviting you to join her video call. I'm logged into my email now to show you what that would look like. It's a, a typical Google Plus message. When I click on it, this is what it would look like. Google Hangouts, incoming video call from Yvonne being sent to me, I could join the Hangout. I would just simply click on that button and I could join her immediately. If I missed the call, if I wasn't at my desk at the moment, I could download Hangouts and be all set the next time she calls me. So again, it's very important that you download this Hangouts application. And now you'll notice, and I didn't show this earlier, this is very important as well, you'll see that now, remember what Yvonne was earlier? E. Rodriguez was just an email address up here in the top right corner. Now it says plus Yvonne. Plus Yvonne is now a quick way that I can get to Google Plus right here in the top right corner. It also shows a bell. If you click on that little bell, it will show you all the notifications of people who want to be your friend and join your circle, as well as some other information from Google Plus. So you've immediately joined a community once you've joined Google Plus. And I could just simply connect directly to Robin by clicking her name and clicking her camera. Video call now. It's trying to complete a video call to her. And we'll see if she answers. And there she is. So apparently I've actually connected to her phone. I can invite other people to this chat. I can mute the microphone. I can turn the camera off if I want to. I can adjust the bandwidth usage, I can change the settings, and I can hang up. You have an Android phone and so you're already logged into Google. Yep. And my little picture on my window is in the bottom right which says you, if you hover over it it says you, and then Robin over at the left. In the top left corner of my window I have a blue chat button. I have a screen share green arrow, so I can share my screen if I wanted to. I have a capture button. Okay, I'm going to hang up and can you call me now? So you see that we have Robin and Mark, and we have just Robin. And if I added more people to this particular Google Hangout, I could have several icons of people that are all talking together. And it's interesting that it remembers that we were chatting together because it will pick up including the same two people in the next Google Hangout. Now I'm getting a call from Robin, so I'm going to click Answer, and this is how you receive a call. So now I've connected, and this time Robin is using her computer instead of her phone. And this time it takes up the entire screen instead of just a, a small fraction of the screen. Back to the buttons, I wanted to mention that I can screen share if I want to. I can click on that little green arrow at the left and I can share my screen with you and I can start screen share. Okay, so that's a screen share. 
There we go. I minimized my window and now I can see you full screen. I can also capture something by clicking the blue camera and it says you opened capture, smile, photos will be taken with handouts capture. So I can click OK, got it. Photo would then be taken with hangouts capture. So now I can take a photo with that little button at the bottom. It looks like a camera. And I've just taken a picture of you and now it's going to save it to my computer in the bottom right corner. And I can bring that photo of you up anytime I want. You could take a picture of me as well. Uh, another button over at the left is Google Effects. It opens up Google Effects and I could go to the top right corner and I could add a, a cat hat, like cat in the hat, headwear, different headwear. I could uh, add eyewear. If I click on my face, this is what I've just done. Wow, how weird is that? I'm actually adding it to me. <laughs> I can add hands to myself. Now, if you, don't, if you wonder what that was, that was actually clapping that was happening in the background because I clicked on these hands clapping. Those were sound effects. So you have all these sound effects that can be added. Or I could take the hat away. By clicking on it, I can take the hat away. So there's a YouTube button right here. When I click on the YouTube button, it opens up a little request for permission button. I could add a YouTube gadget. I'll click accept. It opens up YouTube. It says welcome to YouTube in Hangouts. And everyone could see the same window and playlist. So adding and skipping videos would affect everyone in my search. Only I can see my search results and my search queries. It says have fun. Remember that you can share the playlist that you've created with your friends when you're done hanging out. So I'll click OK. And I can click play. I'll click on add videos to playlist right here. And I can search or paste a video URL right here as well. Uh, down in the bottom right, you can click on the other window that says you. So I stopped screen sharing by clicking the arrow in the top left corner where it says screen share. And now I've turned that off. This time I'm going to Google Drive. I'm clicking on the Google Drive icon. And this is what it brings up. It brings up the Google Drive of whoever is initiating this. You can see what is shared with you. You can see your drive. And you can even upload files as you go right here while you're in a Google Hangout. All right, so we also have a chat window up here in the top left corner, the blue button. And that could be used if people don't have a webcam. They can do a chat right here. So it's a, it could be a group chat. You can invite multiple people and have a group chat. And you could type your message down here. So you'll get that message. And it shows up like a typical uh, instant message. Now if I go back to Google Drive, I wanted to show that too. If I click Google Drive, I can add files while we're together. And then I could share the window and do a screen share. So you can say yes to that. And we could share files together right now. All right, I'll cancel out of that. And then there's this little three dotted button down here where you can add apps. So if I click on the three dotted button, I can click add apps. And I've got a treasure trove of different apps that I can add uh, right while I'm in a Google Hangout. Again, back up here to the icons, I can invite people right now. I can mute the mic. I can turn the camera off. And I can hang up. Thanks to Robin. And that's a look at Google Hangouts. And that is today's tech tip. I'm Mark Rep. Thanks for joining me.